there are actually medical conditions that can cause a high cholesterol, and one of them is hypothyroid. So I, I had a subclinical hypothyroid. What that means is that on the lab slip, it looks like I'm healthy, but I'm suffering all of the symptoms. And it took me a long time to convince a doctor that that's actually what I had. And I said, look, my hair is falling out, I'm freezing, I'm orange from I'm not, digest, I'm not metabolizing beta carotene, my neck is thick, um, you know, my temperature is low, I'm gaining weight for, and I'm eating like 700 calories a day. So, you know, what else could it be? Well, he said, I think you're clinically depressed. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, this doctor, I was living in Las Vegas, I was the only game in town. I was, he was recommended as the best doctor for endocrine problems. So, so I said, well, I, I'm not going to take anything psychotropic. And he says, well, you know, I have heard that cytomel, which is uh, one of the thyroid um, hormones, can help depression. So I'll give you a very low dose. And, in, and I said very calmly to him, oh, okay, that sounds like something we could try. And inside I was going, yay, yay, <laughs> yay. I'm finally getting it because I knew that that's what I needed. It was, it was very clear from all that. There was nothing else it could be. I've already eliminated every other problem. So, so I took, after I took it, I felt like I was getting this infusion of sunshine in my body. And the next morning, the next morning I was able to go out and run five miles in a row, which I hadn't been able to do for a long time. So, so that, was, that was something. And when you have low thyroid, you know it, and it also it affects your blood pressure. Blood pressure will go up. Your cholesterol will go up. There's a tie between cholesterol and thyroid. You know, you can find it all over the internet. It's there. And so there are medical situations that will cause cholesterol, and so those need to be eliminated.